what a weak, weak schedule we have here for week 10 of the NFL season. We're in the back half now, and things are starting to get more interesting. Um, as we keep going on here, you know, there could be a 16-team playoff this year if COVID decides to mess up more, but I hope not. Because, I mean, 14, 14 teams is already too many. And, you know, it feels kind of predictable at this point in the season. And this week, there's not a lot of interesting games. So, you know, we, we have to be mindful. But we do have one tomorrow night, though, on Thursday night. I know, right? Thursday night football having an interesting game. Very, very surprising. It's the Colts and Titans AFC South matchup. Colts are coming off a loss last week to the Ravens. They have to do a little bit better. They have to do. If they want to they wanna go to the playoffs, the Colts do. They have to do a little bit better. And they're going up against Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill, company out there in Tennessee. Should be interesting. Should be interesting to see what the world you. Um, but you know, if the Titans, you know, play some defense, I think they could stymie the Colts. And for the Colts, the Colts just need to play good on all three phases in order to win this game. I don't think you know. I don't think the defense could bail them out this time. They have to get something from Phil Rivers. They have to. As for Sunday, though, the slate is not pretty. And the noon games, not pretty at all. We have the Texans and the Browns, Washington football team and the Lions, the Jags and the Panthers, excuse me, the Packers, the Bucks taking on the Panthers. That's like the best game in that time slot, to be completely honest with you. And then the Eagles taking on the Giants in an NFC East matchup. Now, I will be paying attention to Eagles-Giants. Uh, and see what in the world the Eagles defense can do off a of bye week because they did not look too good the last time, you know, you were getting schooled by a seventh rounder last time, basically. You, you, you don't you don't really get schooled by a seventh rounder. That's a rare thing. The Giants are coming off a big win against Washington. They have they have really turned it around. You know they were uh, they were not too good you know long ago. But the Giants can put themselves in a comfortable position, especially with the Eagles. You know coming off a bye. And then, you know, the Giants will have a bye next week, you know, after playing against the Eagles. So things could line up very well for the Giants. They could take the lead in the NFC East potentially next week if they beat the Eagles. And they have to, you know, make sure that the Eagles lose again, you know, the week after this. But this is going to be interesting to see what in the world, who's going to be, you know, taking the NFC East. If the Eagles do win this game, it's going to be a lot harder for the Cowboys and the Washington football team and the Giants to catch up some ground because I don't think there's going to be a lot more wins for an NFC East team this year. It's going to be a lot harder to make up ground. And then at the 3 o'clock with a thanks to the Masters, you know, we have a bunch of games sitting here at 3 o'clock but only about two of them matter because there's the Chargers and the Dolphins. The Dolphins' defense looks great, you know. And Tua is getting better and better each week, you know. But that's that can be said, you know, a lot of a lot of young quarterbacks. They're just getting better and better each week. And the Chargers continue to pull leads. There's no point talking about this team. They are out of the playoff race pretty much. There's no point in talking about them. Raiders taking on the Broncos at home. The Steelers taking on Joey Burrow and the Bengals. The Saints taking on the struggling 49ers. You know, all this at you know, all this doesn't really matter at all. It really doesn't. But I'll tell you two matchups that do matter. 
at 305, you got the Bills, led by Josh Allen, taking on the Cardinals, led by Kyler Murray. It is going to be one hell of a game. I'll tell you that right, right now. It is going to be one heck of a game. I can assure you. And the Bills, the Cards, uh, uh, they are two young teams looking to prove themselves. Two young teams looking to go to the playoffs. Two young teams that you know can score and light up. It's going to be another classic matchup, I can tell you, like last week with the Cardinals. It was going, it's going to be a great, great matchup. I can tell you that right now. The other big game, you know, about 20 minutes later or so, that kicks off at 325, Seahawks, Rams. How will the Seahawks adjust to, you know, losing last week? You know, because they have to go against Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey out there, you know, at corner and all sorts of other you know, colorful characters out there in L.A. And the Seahawks have to adjust. They have to get something going. They have to get the momentum that carried them the first couple of weeks of the season back. If they can't get that back, then the Rams have a good opportunity to win this game. It's really, it's really all there is to it, you know, as far as that goes. Sunday and Monday night, however, are a lot less interesting. Um... The struggling Patriots are taking on the Ravens on Sunday night. I'm probably not going to watch this game. I'm not going to lie to you. But like, I just do not care for the Patriots right now because they're not good. They had to sneak a win against the Jets. And you don't sneak a win against the winless Jets. So, And the Vikings and Bears. The Vikings are improving. But the Bears are falling. They are falling rapidly. Minnesota can get themselves back in the playoff race if they beat the Bears. And the Bears are on the cusp of, of bowing out. And, and their season is looking, you know, closer and closer to done. You know, we're not even halfway through the season. So, yeah, not a lot to go off of this week. And it's going to be true for a lot of weeks coming up in the NFL season. Where there's just not a lot of matchups that make you go, wow, this is going to be great. Uh, but we do have about two of them this week. And, well, at least three with teams that have winning records. And, you know, the other teams that do need to start winning, they need to get it up, get get to it, start winning games. You know, so we can have more interesting matchups throughout the season. Because, I mean, there's just a lot of matchups that make you want to bomb it just bad matchups let me tell you that so yeah that'll pretty much do it here and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon y'all take care have a good rest of your week